code signal. Arcade. Build palindrome. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving build palindrome from code signal. Let's begin! So given a string, find the shortest possible string which can be achieved by adding characters to the end of the initial string to make it a palindrome. Let's see what the palindrome is. You can see that it's almost like you put a word right here and you try to find where Oh my god, there's this definition here that's much more better. <laughs> a string that doesn't change when reversed. Better way to say it. Okay, so I, when you reverse it, same, new, same, when you reverse it, it's the same. Same thing with these other words. Anyways, let's continue on. So, we're given a part of a string and we want to see what are the minimum characters to add to make it a palindrome. Now, I included some scenarios already. So there's A, ABA, ABB, BBA. And you can see here, these are the additional letters that I have to add to make sure it's a palindrome. So there are different scenarios, like one, if it's just one little character, um, you don't have to make any changes, it's good the way it is. Um, it could also be all, a string of all of the same characters, it's already a palindrome. Um, there could be no changes when you're given a, literally a direct palindrome. Um, and it could be um, a bunch of letters that only need at least one, little, one letter to make it. When you reverse it, it's the same word. Um, Sometimes you might add several other characters. The question is, where do you begin in this string to find out how many letters you can add to make sure that when you reverse the word, it could still remain the same? Like there might be some of these weird patterns right here. You might say, okay, maybe we could just add this whole string, reverse it, and add it to the end. Not really. You only need just to add three letters. So the question is, where do we start in finding that out? Now, forewarning. I might be incorrect about this. Um, and f when the way I look at it, and this might be a not a really good time complexity or space complexity, my solution that I'm going to propose, but I always look from left to right. Can I start here, add a character in the back, and it will be a palindrome? For example, I start with this one, right? A, B, C, A, C. Oh my god. That's, that's crazy annoying. So I could just say, okay, let's just try adding one letter A. That's not a palindrome. How about starting from here? BA, is that a palindrome? Uh, close, but no. How about if I just add CBA? Um, starting from here all the way to the end. If I add this segment right here of the string, would it be a palindrome? Yes, it is. And we just return this palindrome and that's the expected answer. Now that's my, my style of doing it. This could take a quite a while but um, we'll see if that works. So before I do that, we want to know how would you determine if a string is a palindrome or not? So, hmm, here's one way to do it, is palindrome. Now, I know you can use a string builder. I'm gonna create a helper method to determine if, like while I, while I, here's what I'm gonna do, my plan. One, I wanna do that what I did, right? I'm gonna go and iterate, just add one letter, is it a palindrome? This helper function would turn it to palindrome. And if it is, return true. If not, return false. And if it is false, I'll loop again and add another letter. So this is why I'm creating this um, helper function right here. I could create a string builder and reverse it and compare it with the original string if that's um, a palindrome, but that's gonna take some space complexity, especially if the string's quite big. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it this way. Um, int l equals zero, int r, I'm going to start from the ends of the string and compare each character, each character, each character of the string to see if they're equivalent and if they're not, if they're, there's a difference, return false. So here we go. So here it will go from l less, less than or equal to r. All right. And if the string dot character at l is not equal to string dot character at r return false otherwise return true and we have to make sure that we, we increase the counter or else we'll be in this while loop forever and ever l plus plus r minus minus okay now the next part is oh yes so let's go and start this off so first, let's just say ln, we get the length of this, and that length is one. If it's just one, we definitely know for sure that it's palindrome, so I just return the string and we're good. 
otherwise, let's continue on. Um, so remember when I said I'd go from left to right to see if it's a palindrome or not? We have to take into that scenario that this string is a palindrome and we don't need to add any characters. So in that case, we start from int position, go to zero, and um, hold for a second. Actually, what I should do, actually straight away, I'm gonna create a Boolean, Boolean um, palindrome flag equals uh, is palindrome. This is, see, this is why I create the flag for that string. And if it is, you, oh, by the way, before I do this, sorry about that. Um, there might be a case where I have to create a new string, just like what I'm doing right here to see if it's a palindrome. So when I do that, I'm going to do a create a variable for that called new string equals string for now. And here we go. So here's how it works. Um, while, so here's what's going to do. If while palindrome flag is false, then we continue this loop right here where it's going to. I'm going to create a helper method. It's going to create new string. And then it's going to use a position value to determine how much characters from starting from the beginning do we have to add to the end to see if that would work. Um, if we could create a new palindrome, create a palindrome from that word. Um, and here I return, I always return a new string that's created. So we'll just say that it passes right away. If we don't go through this while loop, I'll throw in the string and return it. Now let's create that helper method, create new string. How do we do that? So I want to create a reverse of, oh no, I want to create the ending that we have to add to it. Ending equals um, string dot substring zero to the position. Now I'm going to create this position variable. Oh, I already did. Pardon me. Now let's see about that. Yes, new string equals uh, create new string, string, position, good. And every time we iterate through this, um, we increment by one. Otherwise, uh, is palindrome. Yep, that one we have to check is palindrome. We need to check every time if we have to continue this loop by doing is palindrome with the new string that's created. Now you might be saying, okay, what's, how do we create this new string? So we have, we want to create the ending. So the ending is really just the first few characters, depending by this position, it determines how much to cut off in the beginning and add it to the end. But when we add it to the end, we want to make sure we create a reverse. So I'm going to do reverse. We, we reverse the word string builder of the ending. And I can do ending equals uh, reverse dot two string. There you go. Oh, pardon me. I had to make sure I reverse it right here. There you go. Now, with this new string, we do with string equals string plus ending and return that string. So now we modify the string. We add it in a new ending and we'll see if that new string will work. All right, so let's walk through my code. Um, we get the length, if it's one, return the string. Otherwise, we get the position of how many characters we start from the very beginning of the, the original string to add to the end, and we'll determine with this helper method is palindrome. It will compare characters from the beginning to the end all the way to the center, and if there's any incongruencies, returns false, it's not a palindrome, and we create a new string again with this function. Um, it adds the ending based on the number of characters we snip off. So let's just run it and see what happens. There might be some syntax errors. String cannot be converted to a boolean because this is not the the return type is not boolean. I should have modified that. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! I did it. Nice. Oh, let's submit it and hope that it works. Pray. Yes. Pray to the compiler and it works. We'll just get it back All right. Glad it works. So let's go, I'm gonna go over why I chose this one. I think a lot of people in the comments said they want to do recursive. I don't want to do recursive because I think that's, I think there's some memory consumption when that's involved. It can be worsening the time and space complexity. I think this is a much better solution, although there's a situation where we're creating an ending from, like we're always recreating a new string, but it's always gonna use at least like, I guess, 
true and time space complexity where n is the number of characters in string and um also i think the time complexity it's not the best because we are starting from the beginning of the string and going all the way to the end in worst case scenario it goes through the whole string so that can be about it's possible this can be n squared i suppose uh, i mean i was just impromptu calculating because we start from we go n characters all the way hoping that it's not going to take all those characters um, to be a palindrome but i think that's the best way to solve it anyways guys i hope you like this and please like and subscribe and if you do I'll create a palindrome character of you. It'll be a reflection of you. Like when you look down, you'll see a palindrome of you. Down, um, a simulation of you down below your feet. And you could just have whatever fun you want with your palindromic self. Just kidding. Have a good day, guys.